Good afternoon, I'm uh, Deputy Chief Charles Hampton Jr. I just want to just give you uh, a kind of update. I know this weekend uh, we had two instances where we lost uh, five individuals. Uh, the first, indiv first incident that happened on Sales Avenue where a brother and sister were sh shot and killed uh, by the girlfriend's uh, boyfriend. And we were able to uh, apprehend that individual to and bring him into custody. Uh, on uh, early Sunday morning, we are currently investigating a triple shooting. Um, and so, as we just talk about the homicides, uh, our homicides, we know that about 20% right now are stranger on strangers, uh, which means that a lot of our homicides that we currently are investigating are between individuals that know each other. They have some type of past interaction, uh, and, and then also is stemming from some escalating disputes. 90% uh, of our homicides are, are involving handguns. Um, and so we're just asking people to uh, be responsible uh, with these handguns. We're asking people to find other ways to resolve some of these disputes. And that's what we're seeing a lot of. We're seeing a lot of people get into uh, verbal arguments that escalate. Uh, and the weapon of choice is handguns. And they're, they're shooting upon one another. Um, we're asking that the public really, we, we need your assistance. We're asking people that know uh, about the involvement of these homicides, and, and not just homicides, any violent crime, our uh, aggravated assaults, our shootings. Uh, we're asking people to come forward and do the right thing. We're asking people to call Crime Stoppers where you can remain anonymous. Uh, but we're just, we're just seeing a lot of senseless acts of violence uh, in our community. And we're uh, just pleading that, you know, again, that people uh, remain calm. We're asking people to uh, resolve their conflicts in a manner where, again, talk or just simply walk away. Uh, it's, it's what we're seeing right now is just, it's, it's, it's not a good thing that we're, we're, we're witnessing. Um, but again, we're just we're just really pleading to to everyone. Uh, if you have information uh, to come forward, uh, where you, as I said before, you can call Crime Stoppers, where you definitely can remain anonymous. Uh, but we're just asking to people to uh, put the guns down uh, and 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 just let's just talk, let's communicate, let's just be decent human beings uh, that we know we can be. I can't hear you. We wonder if the stabbing this weekend in Midtown was done on King Lot and Third Street. Yeah. So I know we're going to put something out. Uh, we we did respond to a, a stabbing. We were able to apprehend the the suspect uh, a, sh a short distance away. Uh, we're still trying to uh, determine all the particulars on that uh, incident, whether or not the suspects and the victims knew one another. Uh, but we are definitely uh, happy to say that we've caught the individuals and just looking to see uh, any background information and, and see what uh, led to that incident. Chief Hampton, can you talk about the homicides here in Yes. Uh, and so I, I, I know I said before, we have some uh, very talented people. Our homicide clearing rate currently sits at 75%. Uh, it sees the national average. Uh, although we don't solve all of our homicides uh, right away like we did the other night, uh, the men and women that work at the homicide unit work diligently to, uh, to try to bring closure to the victims. So although we may not solve every single homicide uh, right away within 48 hours or 72 hours, uh, our clear rate of 75% shows that we would do everything in our power to make sure that we bring the people that are responsible for taking their lives of other individuals uh, responsible and help, uh, help them uh, bring them uh, to justice. Mm -hmm. Can you clear up the that uh, I don't know if you want it, but what we're seeing is not unique uh, to Atlanta. Uh, you know, we, we see uh, Major Chief Bryan has spoken on many occasions. He's spoken to other major city chiefs. Uh, and they talk regularly, and this is the same thing uh, that we're experiencing in Atlanta. 
They're seeing uh, nationwide, unfortunately. Uh, so this is not just a, a problem, uh, just special to Atlanta. Uh, it's something that all law enforcement professionals are dealing with. Uh, we talk regularly to our counterparts, uh, local uh, as well as federal, to, to figure out what things are the trends and so we can try to get ahead of this the crime that we see nationwide. Uh, but again, I can rest assured to let you know it's definitely not something that's just isolated to the city of Atlanta. Of, of course it's frustrating, uh, you know, but again, we, we are here, we're, we're sworn to protect and serve. Uh, we're going to do everything that we can to make sure that individuals that uh, decide to commit any type of level of uh, violence or crime in the city of Atlanta, that we're going to do our, do our job, our due diligence. Uh, and so, but yes, it, it's definitely frustrating to see the, the type of violence and, and especially to see that a lot of times it, it, it didn't have to happen. Uh, and as I alluded to before, if people, again, would just learn how to talk or more importantly, just walk away from disputes, uh, that would just make our job so much easier. And so, uh, but the, the violence is, is frustrating for, for us uh, because it's, it's our job, it's us for us to, to solve it. And we know that the community is looking for us to do that. Uh, but we're also just asking people to do their part and just being decent human beings. And that, that was my question. For folks that may be watching at home, that, that well, again, for those who are involved in it, I ask you that uh, one to, to stop doing it. Uh, if you choose to continue to uh, participate in the level of violence, we will find you. We will apprehend you. Uh, for the citizens, uh, we ask that if you see something, say something. Uh, we ask that you can call uh, Crime Stoppers where you can remain anonymous. Uh, but again, this is not just a, a Atlanta police problem. Uh, this is, we're calling on everyone to do their part. Uh, we all play a role to reduce crime. Uh, and, and that's what we're here to say, is just to help us. Uh, and so we can get out the space of just running uh, and, and chasing crime, but we, we want to uh, continue to provide the level of service that we know we are. Uh, but it, it is it is frustrating, but we just ask the, the community uh, also to, to come alongside of us to, to assist us.